During the early 1900s, U.S. naval leaders began to realize that they needed a more effective and portable fuel source than coal, so they looked to oil as a new means to move fleets around the globe. They sought to establish oil reserves in areas that had significant deposits to make sure that it would always be available in the event of war. President William Howard Taft created the first two in California in 1912. The third reserve was established in 1915 by President Woodrow Wilson at an oil field in Wyoming. It was named Teapot Dome after a nearby rock formation called Teapot Rock, thus giving the scandal its name. The first step that unintentionally set the scandal in motion began in 1921 when President Warren Harding issued an executive order transferring control of the three reserves from the Navy Department to the Department of the Interior. In 1922, his Secretary of the Interior, Albert Fall, leased oil production rights for the Teapot Dome Reserve and one of the California reserves to two oil companies in secret and without competitive bidding. Doing so without bidding was completely illegal at the time, but, unknown to the public, Fall had received the equivalent of about $9 million in 2024 value in gifts and zero interest loans from the owners of the two companies. News of the deal became public in April 1922. Conservationists were upset by the industrial development of wilderness lands, while other oil producers were angered by the secrecy and lack of bidding that took place for the leases. Together, they raised enough of a protest that Senator Robert La Follette led an investigation by the Senate Committee on Public Lands into the matter. Though initially Fall seemed to be clear of any wrongdoing, reports surfaced that he had suddenly become much wealthier for no apparent reason. The case was broken open when investigators discovered a $1.8 million loan from Edward Doheny, the owner of the Pan American Petroleum and Transport Company, to which Fall had leased the Elk Hills Reserve in California. Fall was convicted of accepting this bribe in 1929. He was fined the same $1.8 million amount and sentenced to a year in prison. Doheny was acquitted of offering the bribe, as was Harry Sinclair, the owner of the Mammoth Oil Corporation, to whom Fall had leased the Teapot Dome Reserve. However, Sinclair was convicted on charges of jury tampering and contempt of Congress and sentenced to nine months in prison. President Harding died unexpectedly in August 1923 with a damaged reputation due to both this and other scandals involving his administration. However, Democratic politicians were not able to use the Harding administration's corruption to their advantage in the 1924 elections as a Republican, Calvin Coolidge, was elected president. Finally, the investigators filed two civil cases to cancel the leases, which were appealed to the Supreme Court. The court voided the leases in 1927 because they were corruptly obtained. Drilling activities at the reserves were shut down, and control of them was eventually transferred to the Department of Energy in 1977.